Welcome back to the show, everyone. Time to learn how to feed our friends all winter long. Yes, it is. And uh, joining us now is the Queen of Green. She is Lindsay Coulter from the David Suzuki Foundation. How are you, Lindsay? Cool. Great, Lindsay. Thanks for coming, having me back. No problem. Always uh, a pleasure. This is the time of year. All the foliage is off the trees. The bird sounds are a little quieter. Everything else. What are we talking about today? Well, it wouldn't be, I guess, an episode if I didn't bring you bad news first. So, <gasps> What's uh, all right. Are the let's, birds dying? Let's, let's go negative. What? Well, the, a lot of the birds uh, that are where our bird nursery is in the border forest of Canada so that touches pretty much every province and territory it's this green halo around the northern Canada um, we, a lot of our birds are chopping declining. down too is that yeah. a lot of things we're doing okay, to yeah. it and so our birds are sort of suffering and even the most common ones like different species of chickadees and blackbirds we've noticed about a, a big decline in the last 20 years but one of the things that you and I can do here in Vancouver in this winter months is sort of help prop up any that have come to uh, stay and be residents through the winter here or the other ones that live here all all year round so fatten up the little chickadees it helps them get through the winter and they'll be yeah. more successful at yeah. raising young in the spring well I was gonna say this must be a fairly challenging environment for them if they migrate through Vancouver I mean there's not as much food source and all those other things yeah no insects um, which is why we're gonna use things like peanut butter today with good uh, protein source so we'll get started on the the recipe okay this is what the finished product so you this can is the buy store, this in the store version here? yeah and we're gonna make our own version so what is um, this here <laughs> this is the is this what suet. smells weird this suet. is what smells weird. it's so it's fat it's rendered a uh, fat from around the kidneys and liver of a cow let's yep. say you get it at your butcher shop you get it at uh, home Lindsay, you just made me a vegetarian. I know. And Your I'm, butcher's I, happy to get rid of it, though. Yeah. I mean, the butcher likes getting rid of it. It's all stuff. rendered Here, down. It's it. pretty pure. So you can start with the peanut butter, a cup of peanut butter. And again, we've got this recipe on um, the website. On the website? So nice. this is substituting, you know, high protein, just like us vegetarians like to eat peanut butter for that And reason. this is the natural kind, no sugar, no preservatives. Avoid salt. Uh, crunchy, the better. And then you can start adding, um, the next thing will be our seeds. Now, you can use various combinations, uh, four cups of different seeds. Oh seeds and nuts in total. So I've measured so. everything out for you. You got unshelled sunflower seeds, so things like the chickadees will like that. Jays and crows will take on the shelled sunflower seeds. You can start mixing. Oh. Um, you can add things like rolled oats. Boy, these birds better appreciate Something they would, uh, This you know, is quite the hearty little mixture these are you're putting together. These nature, yeah. Um, millet would be the next sort of green. And millet. again, just four, four cups of grains and and then we go to our dried fruits. So we've got cranberries, something they'd probably eat in nature. You know, because they celebrate the, the, the holidays Why as well, not? you know? Yeah. It and seems rather festive, doesn't it? The other one is currants. Uh huh. Oops. And you could use real raisins too. You could dry, use dried apple chunks. Are there any don'ts when it comes to this kind of thing of what you put in a bird feeder? Just keep it simple, I guess? I guess you want to picture what they would actually have access to in nature. Um, that's why we're using beef rendered fat as opposed to vegetable oil or cris uh, you know, Crisco that you and I might be comfortable I always, handling. I always um, suspected um, birds were just birds. waiting for me to die <laughs> so they could eat my fat. Um, and then we'll add a cup of flour. And again, like Fiona mentioned, you know, we'll use whole wheat organic flour. Sorry, I did. There we go. <laughs> Thanks. There was no good way to do that. It's for the birds. It's for the birds. Stop whining. It's for the birds. They're and hungry. The uh, the last batch would be the the rendered fat. Uh, yeah. Can I, it's okay if I don't touch that. Mike, you do it. You're so manly. Pour it on there. What am I pouring on? The this beef suet. This is the fat. Do I yeah. need to stir this at all or anything? No, or I just... melted it down just in the microwave, so you can do that on a stove. Oh, is that on why it's so top. fragrant in yes, here? That's why it's fresh. It's just mm, fresh. Boy. Beef suet smells really, really good. It's, it's, I guess, no different if you made bacon and, you know, bacon yeah, grease yeah, in the morning or something so like that. So how do you put this outside so, so the birds can come enjoy? Yeah, so the application, once you mix all that together, you're going to pour it in a, a pan. You can use muffin tins, mm -hmm. and eventually you'll hang it. You can buy a cage like this that you can hang on or fasten to your tree trunk, and you'll put the block. You'll just cut it out of here. You can put it in the freezer. Um, and you can store it in the freezer too. Now, do you want to be fairly careful about how you're affixing it to things? Because this, I assume, would also attract um, some other wildlife. Rats and, and critters, you're thinking? Yes. Well, you can get pretty creative. I mean, you could take a pine cone in your yard and smush it all inside there and hang that. Um, you could smear it right on the bark of a tree. And then the trick, like here in Vancouver with rats, is you only want to put out enough that the birds are going to consume within that day so it's not sitting there. Oh, that's night. a great idea. Um, that's kind of that's the, the best way yeah, to do it. Yeah, get yourself a bird book. Um, you know, how do you make this without just having a little taste? That's the <laughs> hardest <laughs> thing with <laughs> this is how do you not just nibble so, away till there's nothing left? Once you get your bird feeder out, you can get a bird book. Yeah, you can figure out, and we've got recipe lists on the website of which types eat which things. Oh, so really? depending on what you want to attract. And if you want to simplify the steps that we just illustrated, you can 
buy you know pre-made bird seed and mix it in with your peanut butter and your fat and and um, you've kind just of hang sped it outside up the process. and make some new friends. Yeah. Mike, yeah. I dare you <laughs> to eat just a little, little, little ball of that stuff. Well, come on. You've eaten bugs. I know, but now I've got the seeds and stuff in it's there. It's okay. It's just a little extra. We'll get you some floss after. Mike is going to be healthy like a bird. As Lindsay <laughs> mentioned, you can get the recipe for this and all sorts of other great advice uh, on the website. We'll put on the screen for you right now. How is it? I have an urge to migrate away from here. <laughs> yeah. And to work somewhere you, where I can Lindsay, rinse my mouth. Thank David Suzuki. So bad, actually. We're going to take a quick break. And when we return, you heard that uh, Guns N' Roses with that Axl Rose dude. Uh, Rose has the new album out. Well, we got a chance to talk to Slash not too long ago. Hey, I'm Slash from Velvet Revolver, and you are watching Urban Rush.